the Institute for Gravitation and the Cosmos has about 90 researchers who are interested in, so to say, the big questions of fundamental science dealing with the structure of space, time and matter. The institute has three centers. The first is the Center for Fundamental Theory. The second center is the Center for Theoretical and Observational Cosmology. The third center is the Center for Particle and Gravitational Astrophysics. The primary goal of the Center for Fundamental Theory is to foster research and education in some fundamental areas of mathematical and theoretical physics. The two leading approaches to quantum gravity are both represented in our center, namely loop quantum gravity and string theory. Penn State University is the only institution in the U.S. where both approaches are being developed. Given time, we have a lot of interesting and exciting problems we are working on. Currently, one major activity is on loop quantum cosmology, which was initiated and developed to a large extent here at Penn State. Yet another major activity is on unitary representations of symmetry algebras and superalgebras that have applications to supergravity, superstring theory, and higher spin theories. One main goal of our center is to play a major role in the formulation of a successful theory of quantum gravity whose predictions agree with observation. I expect that the novel results obtained and methods developed in mathematical physics in our center to have important applications in other areas of physics as well. Well, scientists at the Center for Theoretical and Observational Cosmology are engaged in a wide variety of activities to investigate the structure and the evolution of the universe. The center scientists are involved in a large number of international collaborations. Projects that we're involved in, both now and in the future, include the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which began observations in 1999. It just began a new phase in 2014. It's uh, mapping the universe, getting the locations of millions of galaxies and, and quasars. And they're used to investigate you know, the structure of the universe, how has it changed, identifying the most distant objects in the universe, and actually, surprisingly, turned out to reveal a lot about the history of our galaxy, which is really a cannibalistic object. Other surveys include the Hobby Everly Telescope Dark Energy Survey, which will begin in, we hope, late 2015. It's involved a major upgrade of the telescope's ability, capabilities, and we hope to map out a million distant galaxies um, when the universe was only about a quarter of its linear size as it is today. Particle astrophysics is uh, the next uh, wave beyond the normal astronomy where you just look at optical light. We look at the cosmos through gamma rays, which are much higher, um, a much higher frequency type of light. In the future, the upcoming experiments are the HAWK, the High Energy Water Cherenkov Telescope in, in Puebla, Mexico, which is a very large array at a four kilometer altitude, which is designed to measure uh, very high energy gamma rays that uh, are in a range that has not been before uh, observed very well. The SWIFT satellite is a project which is run by NASA, but uh, Penn State is the main uh, university partner, and the, the Mission Control Center is actually here in State College. I work on a detector called the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory, which uh, has been built at the South Pole in Antarctica, and that's used to detect high-energy neutrinos. Very recently, we actually discovered uh, very high-energy neutrinos, which were convincingly from astrophysical sources. At Penn State, we created the Astrophysical Multi-Messenger Observatory Network, we call by the acronym AMON, uh, in order to bring together signals, uh, weak signals, from uh, a variety of detectors uh, to look for coincidences in, in space and in time. So we look for signals that come from the same direction at the same time uh, from uh, basically any place in the universe. And then uh, by doing this in real time, we can also send out uh, alerts to the community uh, so that they can study a particular point in space in great detail in order to understand further what might have produced uh, the multi-messenger signal that was detected by Amon. The hope is that Amon will open up a similar avenue of research and that we will discover objects that uh, either 
had been known before but not very well understood or hadn't even been discovered before. And now that we have this multi-messenger capability, uh, we're able to discover them and learn more about them in great detail. We also contribute significantly to the creation of human resources by training undergraduates and graduate students and postdoctoral scholars. In addition, we also emphasize dissemination of the major discoveries through our public outreach efforts. Looking into the next decade, it is very likely that the Institute members will be able to make significant contributions to a number of forefront areas. The centers have a lot of synergy among them, and as a result, the Institute is much greater than some of its parts.